Today we are on week seven, day two of our book, Animal Cells. We will be reading chapter two. There's a lot of information in this chapter, but it will help to look first at the structure. So when I look at this first um, subheading, I see what are the parts of an animal cell? And then I have a diagram that labels the different parts of my animal cell. And then when I look at the rest of my chapter, I notice I have membrane inside the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, ribosomes, Golgi body, lysomes, cytoplasm. Those are all going to be those parts of the animal cell that we learn about today. The author is just going to be listing them and then telling us about each what one. Each of these organelles is the subheading and then there's paragraph. So let's learn about them. What are the parts of an animal cell? Cells, as small as they are, have many parts. Animal cells are eukaryotic cells, which means they have rooms or chambers called organelles. It helps to think of organelles in terms of the organs in the human body. For example, a human, a human being has a heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. Each of those organs does a job to keep the body healthy. Animal cell organelles are like microscopic versions of organs. Like the organs in the human body, they each have jobs to do to keep a cell healthy. Animal cells work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They work when you are running or sitting, eating or sleeping. The work cells do happens in organelles. Let's take a closer look at the different parts of an animal cell and what jobs they do. This image shows parts of animal cells discussed in this book. So here we have a diagram of an animal cell, and then we have labels pointing to the different organelles that we will be learning about. Here is the nucleus, the Golgi body, the cytoplasm, the cell membrane, the mitochondria, the vacuole, and the ribosome, which are all those blue dots. Here is a diagram of our nucleus. The nucleus serves as the command center of an animal cell, telling the other parts of the cell what to do and it breaks down the different parts of the nucleus. So we have the nuclear membrane that surrounds the nucleus. And inside of the nucleus, we have the nucleolus. Attached to that, we have the endoplasmic reticulum. Membrane. Surrounding an animal cell is the outside skin of a cell called the plasma membrane or cell membrane. This membrane is made of fats. The plasma membrane is a wall of defense and only lets in what the cell needs to live on, such as water and food. Inserted in the membrane are various proteins. Inside the nucleus. The nucleus is the control center of a cell, like a brain. Like most organelles, it is surrounded by a membrane. It carries directions for such characteristics as height, eye color, and other genetic information. See pages 36 to 39. Inside the nucleus is a thread-like structure called chromatin. This is made up of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, fibers. It is the DNA that provides a map of your body. It decides if you are going to be tall or short, blue or brown eyed, 
and every other physical thing about you. Endoplasmic reticulum. Sticking out from the nucleus is the endoplasmic reticulum, ER. This is a network of tube-shaped structures. The ER produces fats and some types of proteins used in the body. There is a rough kind of ER and a smooth kind of ER. Mitochondria. You need energy to power your body. Your cells also need energy to power their work. A cell's power center is in its mitochondria. These organelles have their own DNA. They produce energy to support the cell's main functions. Mitochondria produce energy within the cell. Here is our mitochondria. It has an outer membrane and an inner membrane. There's multiple mitochondria, as you can see, inside the cell. Ribosomes. Ribosomes are protein factories. These organelles work to turn ribonucleic acid, RNA, into proteins. The ribosomes string together amino acids. Once a string is complete, it is called a protein. Golgi body. The Golgi body works rather like a packaging unit and warehouse. Proteins and carbohydrates, sugars and starches, enter the Golgi body. They are covered in thin membranes and sorted into packages. The Golgi body addresses each package by putting a chemical message in the membrane that tells where the protein or carbohydrate should be sent. Scientist Spotlight. Camillo Golgi. Born in Cateno, Italy, Camillo Golgi, 1843 to 1926, was a doctor and scientist with an interest in the workings of cells. Today, we know Golgi as the man who identified the Golgi body in cells. However, Golgi's greatest work was on the nervous system, for which he won a Nobel Prize in 1906. You might find it strange that Golgi, who ran hospitals and worked in medical labs, never actually practiced as a doctor. Camille Golgi dedicated his life to cell research. Our next organelle is lysosomes. Your stomach helps your body take in nutrients. Nutrients are substances that help your body grow and stay healthy. Lysosomes are organelles that are like human stomachs. Among other functions, they digest the nutrients that are delivered to a cell. Lysosomes contain chemical substances called enzymes, which work like the digestive juices in your stomach. Here we have a picture of our lysosome. Food enters a cell and is immediately wrapped up and moved around the cell. A lysosome takes the food and digests it. So here it is, if you follow the path, nutrients entering the cell. They get wrapped up by the lysosome, digested. Cytoplasm. Although cells are extremely tiny, there is still empty space within the cell. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that fills the space between the nucleus and the cell membrane. It works much like the way egg white fills the space between the yolk and the eggshell in an egg. Organelles float in the cytoplasm.
vacuoles. Vacuoles also float in cytoplasm. They are pockets containing mostly water that store cell food. When a cell produces protein or food, it stores it in a vacuole, just like you would store sandwich in a plastic bag. Organelles also put waste in vacuoles. Cell waste includes broken parts, poisons, and extra water that the cell does not need. To empty the rubbish, the vacuole moves the cell membrane and pushes. The cell membrane opens, the vacuole opens, and the waste spills out of the cell. The membrane and the vacuole seal themselves up again and get back to work. How are the organelles and body organs alike? Animal cells are like the animals they form. They eat, use the energy from food, and take in water. The organelles work like body organs. In some ways, they are more efficient and better organized than humans. When cells are finished with something, they immediately get rid of the waste they make. The cells in this kangaroo have the same organelles that your cells do.